You're a good looking right. dude, but you're a virgin. What is going yeah, on? I'm scared to talk to girls, man. Why are you scared to talk to girls? I got no game, bro. You don't need game. Yeah, you do. No, you don't. You need to be able to speak words to them. You don't need no damn game. What do you constitute as game? Riz. That's stupid. There we go. With the immaturism in you guys. That's why you guys don't get laid. You guys are so immature that women are scared of y'all. Riz and all this stupid shit sounds cool to say on TikTok, but that's not reality. Reality is women like masculine men. That's why at 23, you're still a good looking dude and you're not getting laid. Take the word Riz from your vocabulary. Take it out. You need to learn how to talk to women in a confident way. You don't need fucking Riz. You're a man, not a little boy. So when's the last time you talked to a woman? Like last week. What did you say to her? What's up? How you been? Where was this? Uh, the store. The store? You said, how yeah. you been? Did you know the girl before? No. Then why would you ask her, how you been? Bro, I told you I got no game, man. Okay, that's not no game. That's no situational awareness. That ain't game. It's like common vocabulary. Yo, 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 what's good? You already know what it is, man. I'll pray to do some more so y'all. Make sure you guys give it a like to Lauren Savior. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. I'm trying to grow a lot. And let's hop straight into it. Why many handsome men are afraid or scared to talk to women. Now, listen, shout out FedEx Fearless, man, what he's doing over there. You know, appreciate us providing us with, appreciate him for providing us with these clips. And um, listen, guys. What you must understand is you guys have all the good looks, but y'all are still afraid to talk to women. What is the point of getting attracted? What is the point of doing any of that, keeping yourself all lined up, your beard all crispy, and you're scared? Guys, you are not going to get anywhere in life if you are scared. This is not just with women. I want you to understand some guys, and it's just me trying to help you out. If I was so scared, if I was thinking like y'all... I would not be able to do this YouTube channel. I would not be able to supply y'all with content. I would be scared to get on live streams. I would be scared to do a lot of things, guys. But it's about taking the risk, even when you are scared. Because if you don't take risks, man, you won't get anywhere. That's a part of being masculine. That's a part of the masculine. Is you take risks, guys. You take chances. You are not sitting back in your feminine being passive and you're scared. And that's what a lot of handsome guys are doing. And I'm telling you this right now. If you are a handsome guy, if you are a good looking guy, and you are sitting here in this imaginary word in your head, and you are allowing yourself to be intimidated by what's going on, then you're going to suffer. It's just the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? You are going to suffer. You're not going to have any type of any type of logical thought of what to do. It is that simple. So let's get into this, man. Immaturity. Immaturity. You guys are aren't even in tune with your inner masculine. So you act like a child. A lot of handsome guys aren't in tune with their inner masculine because they have spent so much time on the outside that they haven't worked on the inside. You have to work on the inside to complete the package. If not, you guys are going to fail. You guys are going to constantly be scary. It's lack of maturity. When you start to get mature as a man, you start to realize, I have to take risk in this life. I have to do things that may seem difficult, but I know if I get them done, I'm going to have success. I'm telling you guys, everything takes a level of bravery. I want you to understand that, man. I'm not saying that I'm a whiz at talking to women. I'm not saying that I'm the best guy at talking to women because I barely approach as it is. But what I'm saying is, if a woman is sending me choosing signals or something like that, I'm going to take that risk. You know what I'm saying? I will take that risk if it's necessary. But you guys, when it's necessary, you still don't take the risk. And you guys are wondering why you are scared to talk to girls. Next, you are very insecure. You think if one woman doesn't call you handsome or doesn't say you handsome, the world is going to end. That's another thing. A lot of you guys, you've been spoiled. Oh, he's so handsome. He's this, he's that. Look at him. He's so cute. Once a woman said, oh, he ugly as hell. Now you mad. Oh, I don't think he's all that. Now you about to cry. <laughs> oh, the dog, she said I wasn't handsome. Like, you about to cry. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? That's just one woman, bro. Do you think every woman is going to think I'm a 10? Hell no. Nah. Some women gonna think I'm a three. Some women gonna think I'm a two. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. But I'm not focused on the negative reinforcement. I'm focused on positive reinforcement. You have to keep your mind glued to positive reinforcements only. Because if you allow negative reinforcements to take you to that level, then it's over with. Guys, there are women right now I see every other day that are 300 plus pounds that have the confidence of a six foot eight chiseled man. Grown man, 
And you guys over I'm scared to talk to girls. And you got this nice beard lined up. You're clean cut. And you scared. But it's women out here that are 300 pounds that have more confidence than you. If y'all heard something, it's my damn stomach. But the point is, 300 pounds. The heavyweight champion of the world. 300 pounds. And... They have more confidence than you and you got six pack abs and you look handsome. Do you not see a problem in that? Like, bro, we have to be realistic right now. If a woman that's that big can be that confident, why are you not the same? Come on, bro. We have to do better in this space. This is getting ridiculous because this video, this clip is some of the same stuff that I get from you guys. Some of the same stuff. Next is that you get choosing signals, but you don't know what to say because you lack social confidence. Guys, you don't have to think of a one, two, three word to say, or hey, baby, you fell from the sky. No, man. All you got to say is whatever comes to mind. Now, listen, hold on. Wait, wait. Some of y'all might say, let me get some of that ass. You know what I'm saying? So, wait. Listen. If a chick is choosing on you, you have to just instinctively interact with this chick. You cannot come to nobody for advice but yourself. You can listen to as many videos as you want. You can watch as many cold approaching videos as you want. Until you go out and face the bear, the bear will always win the fight. It's just the bottom line with this, man. You have to go out and experience it for yourself. Otherwise, it's useless. I'm telling you this, guys. You guys need to understand how to be able to talk to women without worrying about consequence, without worrying about outcome. You know what I'm saying? You can't like social confidence is just literally being able to talk and not be stuttering, not be nervous, not be sweating. That's all social confidence is, guys. It's not a magic tick to the one, two, three. No, man. It's simply talking to women and being confident while you're talking to women, having very strong masculine body language, having very strong mannerisms. That's what it's all about, guys. It's about nothing else, not anything else. It's about being masculine while you're talking to these women and not getting pushed off your center no matter how much they try to break into your fame or whatever so you have to understand man just be socially confident it's going to help out a lot come on bro we got to do better than this next and last is that you are on social media way too much guys don't get me wrong, the social media terms, the riz, the cook, it's funny, you know what I'm saying? And you can't use that in certain times. But guys, stop using this wherever you go. Use this, how do I say this? Use this sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You can just say for lack of better words. You don't have to use this all the time. If you are constantly on social media bombarding your brain with all this dopamine and this and that. You are not going to feel any dopamine from wanting to go talk to another woman. You are not going to feel a dopamine surge from wanting to go talk to other women. You're not. You're going to be too busy on social media scrolling the apps looking at, oh, this is how this handsome guy does it. This is how this guy does it. Guess what? That guy's not you. That guy probably has skills that you don't have. You know what I'm saying? That guy probably has attributes that you don't have that he does. So I'm telling you this, guys. Get off the fucking apps. You know what I'm saying? Get off the apps and get outside, bro. Get off the apps and get outside. I can't stress this enough. You have to get off the apps and get outside, bro. That's the only way things are going to improve. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to you. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out.